Um, I am here to testify on behalf of the House Republican Caucus uh, on Senate Bill 1126, an act concerning revisions to campaign finance laws. Uh, and I thank you for this opportunity to submit comments. Campaign finance in Connecticut is an important issue, not just, of course, to the House Republican Caucus, but to the entire General Assembly and to all the citizens of our state who deserve to participate in clean elections. Connecticut uh, put in place in 2005 a very strong clean elections program, and it has been somewhat disappointing to many over the past few years to see some changes that have affected the integrity of that program. While this bill in front of the committee today takes some steps to provide Connecticut with additional transparency in elections, we believe that more needs to be done to restore its integrity. The House Republican Caucus, as you know, made several proposals since the beginning of this legislative session to reform campaign finance, including reducing the size of grants, requiring legislative approval for the increase of grants, and eliminating grants to unopposed candidates. These proposals were designed to reduce the state taxpayer's cost, which has continued to grow throughout the life of the program, while still preserving the integrity of a clean election funding system. However, none of our proposals are included in Senate Bill 1126. This past election cycle, the state provided over $33 million in grant money to candidates. Furthermore, the state distributed funds to 15 unopposed candidates. A 25% reduction in grant size alone would have saved the state more than $8 million and would still have provided a candidate for state senate, for example, more than $70,000. Additionally, the House Republican Caucus proposed several changes that would have put substantial limitations on outside interest money. These proposals include capping the amount of organizational expenditures that state central committees can make to campaigns, prohibiting PACs from making independent expenditures on behalf of a candidate when such candidates solicited on behalf of that PAC, and prohibiting federal account funds from being expended on state government candidates. These proposals were offered to address directly loopholes that had been exploited during the most recent election. The past gubernatorial race dramatically changed and, in a way, uh, some have said, made a travesty of the citizens' election program. Special interest money came into the state abundantly uh, with over $18 million on independent expenditures and, and money funneled to state candidates through a federal account loophole. Moreover, Another candidate, for example, was able to triple the amount of campaign funds he received through contributions from a state central committee. These types of disregard for transparency and independent in state elections should not, we feel, be tolerated. I urge the members of this committee respectfully to amend raised bill number 1126 to address these concerns and close these loopholes. Please allow the full General Assembly the opportunity to debate these critical issues and to pass meaningful legislation to improve and restore transparency and help provide Connecticut citizens with truly clean elections. Thank you very much.